Welcome to our educational video about four fascinating dinosaurs, Ankylosaurus, Stegosaurus, Spinosaurus, and Edmontosaurus. Dinosaurs have captured the imaginations of people of all ages, and children are particularly fascinated by these prehistoric giants. In this video, we will take a closer look at these four amazing creatures, learning about their unique features, habits, and the time periods they lived in. By the end of this video, you will have a better understanding of these incredible dinosaurs and their place in the history of our planet. So let's get started. It is an Ankylosaurus. Ankylosaurus was a huge dinosaur that lived during the late Cretaceous period, about 66 million years ago. It was a heavily armored dinosaur with a bony club at the end of its tail that it could use to defend itself from predators. Ankylosaurus had a wide, flat body and short, thick legs that made it look like a walking tank. It could grow up to 30 feet long and weigh up to 6 tons, which is about as heavy as a large elephant. Despite its massive size, Ankylosaurus had a tiny brain that was only about the size of a walnut. Scientists think that it might have used its bony club to break open tough vegetation, as well as to defend itself from predators. Ankylosaurus had sharp teeth and powerful jaws that it used to crush and grind tough plant matter. Fossilized footprints suggest that it might have walked on all fours most of the time, although it could probably stand up on its hind legs if it needed to. Ankylosaurus was not a very fast dinosaur and could probably only run at speeds of around 6 to 7 miles per hour. It was not the only armored dinosaur of its time and was part of a group of dinosaurs called Ankylosaurids that included other heavily armored dinosaurs like Euoplocephalus and Notocephalosaurus. It is a Stegosaurus. Stegosaurus was a large, plant-eating dinosaur that lived during the late Jurassic period, about 150 million years ago. It was a heavily armored dinosaur with bony plates along its back and spikes on its tail, which it used for defense. Stegosaurus had a small head with a beak-like mouth and flat teeth that it used to grind up tough plant matter. Its name means roofed lizard because of the bony plates on its back that look like roof tiles. Stegosaurus had a small brain that was only about the size of a walnut, which is surprising given its large size. Scientists think that it might have had a second brain located in its hips, which helped control its back legs. Stegosaurus had a stiff, upright posture because of the placement of its bony plates, which would have made it difficult for it to bend its back or tail. Fossilized footprints suggest that Stegosaurus could walk on either two legs or four legs, depending on its speed and the terrain. It was one of the first dinosaurs to be discovered and described by scientists in the late 1800s. Stegosaurus was not the only stegosaurid dinosaur of its time, and was part of a group of dinosaurs that included other heavily armored dinosaurs like Kentrosaurus and Hyangosaurus. It is a Spinosaurus. Spinosaurus was a large, meat-eating dinosaur that lived during the late Cretaceous period, about 100 to 95 million years ago. It was one of the largest carnivorous dinosaurs ever discovered, and could grow up to 50 feet long and weigh up to 20 tons. Spinosaurus had a long, narrow snout and sharp teeth that it used to catch fish and other aquatic prey. It also had distinctive spines on its back that formed a sail-like structure, which scientists think it might have used to regulate its body temperature or to attract mates. Spinosaurus was adapted for life in the water, with webbed feet and a long, powerful tail that it used for swimming. Fossil evidence suggests that Spinosaurus might have spent most of its time in and around the water, hunting for fish and other aquatic animals. Despite its size and fearsome appearance, Spinosaurus was not a very fast dinosaur and could probably only walk or jog on land. It was discovered by a German paleontologist named Ernst Stromer in 1912, but many of the fossils were destroyed during World War II. In recent years, new fossil discoveries have helped scientists to better understand Spinosaurus and its place in the dinosaur family tree. 
It is an Edmontosaurus. Edmontosaurus was a large, plant-eating dinosaur that lived during the late Cretaceous period, about 70 to 66 million years ago. It was a member of the hadrosaur family, also known as the duck-billed dinosaurs. Edmontosaurus had a distinctive, flattened snout with hundreds of tightly packed teeth that it used to grind up tough vegetation. It could grow up to 40 feet long and weigh up to 5 to 6 tons, which is about as heavy as a large elephant. Edmontosaurus was a social dinosaur that probably lived in herds, which would have helped to protect it from predators. Scientists have discovered fossilized skin impressions from Edmontosaurus that show it had a scaly, bumpy texture. Edmontosaurus had a powerful tail that it used for balance and for defense against predators. Its name comes from the Edmonton Formation in Canada, where the first Edmontosaurus fossils were discovered. Edmontosaurus is one of the most commonly found dinosaur fossils in North America and is known from many different locations. It is closely related to other hadrosaur dinosaurs like Perithosaurus and Parasaurolophus, which also had distinctive head crests.